Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed, doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. If you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you're able, I hope and pray that you're able to resonate with the content of my video. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you, uh, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of that. Uh, I know I messed up my intro. Um, like I said, my, my, my essence, my image on everything on my video is highly protected. Anybody who's coming through to just be spying and have an evil intent and trying to play something on me and reading between my thoughts everything is sending back to sender so be careful what you're doing but anyways um the video i'm about to do today is twin flame 101 hey okas don't let them drape you in their insecurity of lies because you stand um you you stand strongly uh wearing your your uh wearing your suit of truth it's true you know a lot of times you know people get mad at you because you're you're you know you you uh you're not allowing yourself to be triggered by other people's thoughts of you. You know, you're not allowing yourself to be uh, pulled in that in that essence of war, personal wars with other people and yourselves. You know, is uh, taking place in the world. You know, um, being able to have that deeper understanding. You know, a lot of us has been placed in solitude, isolating. You know, it, at times it can be annoying, but this is something that's inevitable if you really want to allow yourself to heal. There's a lot of times you can be on your grind and be like, oh, I feel the energy, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm light working, I'm projecting my truths, you know, I'm helping people with healing, getting them to understand that things is being projected towards them, and all of a sudden, the universe is saying, okay, now it's like, okay, you did your light working, you were the torchbearer for a minute, but hand that baton to somebody else because I need you to time out. You know, I'm like, wait, man, I'm on a groove. What are you doing? You know, it's like with the what is this, the six, six, six. Uh, seven, seven, and eight, eight. You know these portals and stuff been popping open, and when I say these energies has been, oh Jesus, it's been fierce, been very fierce. You know, and if you have been that one that has been really uh, releasing everything that's no longer serving you, and that's what it's doing. You closing doors to old relationships. You seeing things. This is a part of your growth. Like everything. Let me see. Not say everything if it's not your growth or not, because everything that comes into your life is about growth. It's about understanding lessons that need to be learned. You know, instead of saying, okay, this hit me and impact me in a negative way, or this hit me in a positive, either, either or, it is something that you needed to be able to have that deeper understanding. You know, everybody is coming in, and we're st students and teachers towards stuff. And it is just like right now, there's a lot of people that are leveling up. If you know you did the work, you're allowing yourself to appreciate things. You know, even when things hurt deep, you know, you have to be grateful for that because some, you know, even the hurt, the painful situations is, is bringing some kind of lesson of love, lesson of blessings. You know, even if you're not like that, I don't love that hurt, but that was understanding. You had that was an understanding that you really needed to see things for what they truly are. Because a lot of times, you know, um, with us as empaths, I know I can, you know, with me, like I tell y'all, I'm very transparent with mine. You know, even when you're a strong person, you got weak moments. So I tell people, I ain't got no problem with saying that because, you know, somebody's saying they strong all the time and happy all the time is lying. You know, I ain't got no time to be perpetrating that. But anytime somebody asks me, you know, uh, you know, how you doing? I'm good. Even when things aren't good, I'm still good because I know I'm breaking through that. And that, that has to be your words. That's that verbiage you have to be embodying, consumed with yourself. Even though I'm going through a, like a nervous wreck and it just feel like the world is crumbling on me, I'm still good because this is showing me I can stand on my own. My truth is my truth. Don't be able to switch that around just because it makes other people uncomfortable. You know, um, allowing myself to be free in my comfortability of my strength, even when it makes other people uncomfortable. Because a lot of times, people don't want to see you doing good. You know, it makes them uncomfortable when you're doing something positive. That triggers the mess out of certain people, you know. Or people are, you know, going through uh, spiritual oppression. You know, they want to stay asleep, but they want to be able to pull you back into that too. Because when you are not that simp, you ain't following the beat of other people's drums. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't losing yourself in a crowd. Oh, you become that worst enemy. When they know you can't be manipulated anymore, you become the enemy. You know, don't be surprised when people come back and tell you, girl, you doing this, or man, you ain't doing this. You know, I heard this and this and this about you. And it has to be that point 
don't allow yourself because there, there, there be a lot of things that probably said about you behind the scenes because when people see the good in you they won't project everything they want to be bad it, even if it has to be a story that ain't even you don't even connect with you in your body you know it, it don't you know and it, it had to be at that point you know it's just like i noticed the more i clear out i mean when i tell you it's like me and the universe is like really tight because i noticed like when i project so many different things and they start showing me this is what's being reflected don't trust that or this is what this person is saying don't trust that or this is what this person is trying to pull you into don't trust that because now it's just like when you have gone through things so many times you know we can get in that vibe where we're, we're projecting negative you know doubts about ourselves it's like oh i'm so used to people treating me like that or you know i'm not surprised this is what people do i used to do that but now it's just like it is what it is you know you don't have time to try to convince people of what you're doing, what you're not doing. Because, you know, at, at the end of the day, you know what you're doing. You know? And if it's somebody who want to make them lies up about you, baby, you must be doing something good. Because they, I mean, you know, you being in places you weren't. You doing things you weren't doing. You staying to yourself. You know, all these different things. I'm just like, dang, you know? You been hearing all these different things. You out here doing this for that person, this person, person. And knowing good and well, hell, you staying to yourself. Okay, if I'm being a whole week, let me just be that because I already know I was staying my ass right here and I've been by myself for I don't know how long. You know, in different things. It's like when I look at all the stuff that I went through, I look at the different things where I, my lack of love for myself, you know, put me in a lot of situations I shouldn't have been in. And when I start loving myself and I start saying, oh, if this ain't bringing peace into my, I'm not going to allow myself to do that because, see, I'm at that per, I'm, I'm that type of person that. You know, you can't just come up and start talking on the side of your neck because I'm going to come full-fledged, face-to-face. It ain't going to be on the neck. It ain't going to be in the chest. Well, it's going to come from the death of my chest, but it's just I'm going to come straight for you. I've always been that way. You know, people used to laugh at me because I was just blunt like that. You know, now it's like, I'm not investing my energy in this, man. I'm No. It's like, are you the... Say what you want to say. If you want to add more to it, I don't care. You know, because a lot of times, you know, it, it'll be just like when you, when you start playing them little games with people... You showing yourself right there. You looking for a validation or approval. You know, you have to understand that's not going to be everybody going to say something positive about you. You know, you may have hurt somebody deeply. You may have really did something and that person is going to be talking bad about you. Or there's this person that can sit up here and say, you know what, this this man or this, this woman done helped me out with so many different things and stuff like that. You know, I just, I don't see what you see. You know, like I tell people all the time, I had to learn to, you know. There's going to be different times where it's just like they're going to always see something negative in you because they can't stand what's right in you. Don't allow yourself to be stupid to that level and be trying to correct what happened, you know, because I'll be looking like it's at that point where I had to get off of that, that you know, self-pity, you know, victimizing myself, you know, about what people have done to me because it comes to that point every, every dog got his day. It's always dark before the dawn, you know. There's three things you can't hide for too long. You know, the sun, the moon, and the truth. There's always different, you know, two sides of every story. You know, it could be your truth, my truth, and the truth. But it comes to that point when you won't, you know, you focus on your growth and worrying about the noise and the static that's trying to come to you. Eventually, that person going to end up telling on themselves, like, oh, Oh, you didn't like that. Oh, you, you were mad because that person wasn't uh, entertaining that BS you were going on. Oh, you can't manipulate that person no more. Oh, that person stands on their own and they go for their own truth, not your truth. You know, you start triggering people's insecurities. They get to that point. You ain't here to people, please, because there are going to be people that are going to understand to the depths of what you're talking about and is going to appreciate that. Admire what you did and just congratulate you for the tr strength that you sent up here, uh, you know, projecting towards other people. You know, and some people just ain't going to be able to stand it because there's something in you that they, they wish they embodied in themselves. And that's how we all hold that. We all hold that. You, you know, when, even when I talk about my enemies, we all hold that. You know, because I tell people real quick that, you know, you trying to make me mad and stuff like that. And I, and I tell this all the time. I say in my videos a lot. When you can sit up here and place energy on trying to block somebody from blessings, trying to place all kind of uh despair you know uh buying that person to suffering try to buy that person a set financial struggle you know don't want them finding their kingdom wife or their kingdom husband you all that energy you trying to do and then all of a sudden it start backfiring you start bringing all that mess you don't push down on somebody is coming back and i tell people you see all that strong energy you were doing 
by worrying about what someone on somebody else's journey other than your own, you, that same that same energy that you did to try to hurt somebody, you could apply it towards yourself because that's what's wrong with the world today. We we compare ourselves to a lot of people or feeling like, oh, I deserve this, I deserve that, and that per person don't deserve that. And God be looking at you. Why are you telling me what this? Number one, I already know what my child deserves and don't deserve. But I'm trying to understand why do you want me to bless you on all this, but you feeling like I need to let that person you know worked hard for that. You know, and I tell people everybody got that potential, but a lot of times we put our potential and our strength and our energy and focus on the things that we we, we need to go the other direction for. So I tell people we all got that potential to change, but. There's so many people out here that always want to be all up in somebody else's journey and lose out on their own. And then wonder why hell is like breaking loose in their life. Because you wishing bad on people. And I was at that point, you know, even when you see people are all going out their way to try to hurt you, break you, you know, project some kind of thing, make people look at you in a negative way, you send blessings towards them. Because whatever you wishing on somebody is going to come back to you. That's why I said, I ain't got that look. I'm predicting my energy at all costs. I'm not about to embody that. If you at war, I'm going to let you be at war. Just because I'm a warrior don't mean that's my fight. That's your battle. I had to let go of my weight, their weight, and all this other weight, even my own. You know, this is not a part of me no more. But I allowed myself to appreciate where I've been, where I'm going, and, you know, and where I was from. And I appreciate all those stages. I remember me being bad and worrying about what other people were saying. You know, allowing myself to be hurt. By what other people are saying about me that obviously wasn't true, you know, and those things. And it's just like since I went through my spiritual uh, awakening, I started seeing people for what they truly are, you know. And I was just like, you know, family, you know, saying all the one. I'm like, Dad, why would they do that? And then, you know, my mom used to tell me stuff, and then it just started clicking. It's like, remember I told you this, you know? I remember when I said that, and my mom already prepared me for what I was about to go through. But it is just like when you're walking in your suit. Those no, truth and it, it got that. I forgot what is that. It, it's just like you know that st uh, stain resistance, the Scotch Guard. I think that's what it is. And you're like that, you know. And when you allow yourself to see this, it's like this is not who I am. What they're saying is not me, you know. But allowing yourself, you ain't gonna justify what's right or wrong. Cause anybody who's real with you and they ride with you, they gonna understand. Oh, <laughs> that's just that. She done pulled another person that on insecurity out. Now they don't blast that towards her again. But it's like, what did she say? Nothing. That was her response. Nothing. Because a lot of times people will do certain things, you know, when they don't like seeing you grow. They like it when you were easily manipulated. Easily to be able to put you down. Easily to be able to, oh, I'll pull that person out their peace and I do this and this and that. You'll see, you have to really pray for people that are like that. I pray for everybody, but I pray worse for the enemies that always try to hit me. And I'm not saying that in a, you know, a condescending way or saying I'm over them, but no, they're fighting a war you know nothing about, you know, and you have to be, to be that, you know, that vindictive, what do they call it, vindictive, or, you know, being hateful towards that person. You don't know what kind of war they're dealing with, you know. It ain't easy for us to sit up here and um, face our wounds. It's not easy for us to be able to be that I played a part in my own suffering, hold myself accountable for the things that I did. Because I always tell people, you you know, yeah, there's a lot of people that hurt me, but I also had to be able to understand there's a lot of people I hurt too. I had to ask, I had to go for, you know, repentance a lot of times, you know, even when I'm going through stuff with my kids, you know, I had to be able to prepare myself because I put my mom through hell. You know, I put my mom through hell, and it was just, it was just me. Then I got three kids coming at me like I was coming at my mom, you know. And, you know, my mom passed over, and she's like, baby, stop blaming yourself for that. I said, no, and I'm going to continue to say sorry because I really put my mom there. And now I'm seeing because it was force-fed for me to see her in the most hurtful way, you know. And it was all that BS that was being told to me and being brainwashed was actually the person who was the corporate. They tried to make themselves look like the victim. And that wasn't even my mom that was doing that. She was actually loving me. And, it, you know, it, it was just the people hated the way she loved me like that. And then they wanted me to be able to bring her down like they didn't do enough damage. They wanted me to do it. So when I see my kids come out, I'm like, oh, I know exactly where that came from. You know, that shit hurt deep. Oh, I know exactly where it came from. You know, and it's just a lot of times you'll be in your, your, your moments where you get really hurt by other people's actions. And it's okay, but you have to get to that point. 
when you live in your truth, that triggers a lot of people's demons. When you, when that light comes on, and you ain't dimming it for nobody. You moving straight forward, being unapologetic. People don't like that. I'm not asking sorry, not sorry. If you don't like it, you know, when I, when I can sit up here and I'm not, you know, I can say a certain person like this ain't bringing on names or anything like that. And you, obviously you took offense to it. You tell me I'm speaking to you. <laughs> and I didn't even have to be saying your name, you know. And there'll be different things I go through. There'll be different things that's being said, you know. And I have to understand, look what you're doing. You putting that stuff on blast. They don't want you telling the truth. They, you know, they, they people pleasing. People, you know, do the thing where they, they're projecting, you know, uh, external validation. They want to be able to be seen as that. Be seen as this and knowing good and well hell, this does not represent you. You know, you had to lie, steal, connive, manipulate, you know, destroy a couple of things just for that to be able to happen. But it's not true. You know, there's a lot of people that are comfortable throwing a rock and hot in and always, oh, it's the, you know, the, the, you get, oh, I'm the victim and this and this and that. Knowing you created that fire. You know, people be always still up here adding that fire towards you and be dangerous as hell because they soaked in gasoline and want to be playing, hey, y'all, hey, y'all, I'll run a goddamn uh, fire ritual. No. <laughs> you know, us true warriors already going to um, back up. <laughs> back up from the light, Caroline. Don't do that. You're like, hey, you see that? You know, because these different things, you'll see the changes you're going through. And it's just like when you see the changes you're going through in that major shift, you'll start noticing different things that you weren't able to notice before because you see every sign. There'll be different things that'll come in, you know, frequently. It'll come in like clockwork. And you're like, dang, that, you know, and I used to see that all the time and never paid attention to it. And now, since I done did a lot of clearing, I did that next level, level up, accelerating, you know, ascending transcending transmuting transmutation all those trends you're going through and you'll start seeing different things you know when you take that major shift it's just like when i see it i start seeing you know our ancestors you know uh people that uh what did i see the other day when i was going through my, my channeling on my kashik records you're seeing different stuff and then it's just like I see us like running through woods. I mean, it, it was like the bolt of lightning. I'm like, what the hell? Dude, we were just running. And it was just like, we were on that war. And it was just like, we were all talking in mother mother tongue. And it was just like, that warrior and whatever that warrior was, the essence was there. So you see uh, owls, uh, eagles, wolves, you know, different things. It's like cheetahs, pumas, and stuff like that towards everybody that had their representation. It was like you and everything that stood behind you. So that means you you are coming into complete alignment. And it's, it's going to take a major shift again because it's like we cutting corners, you know, in so many different ways. And when you're seeing that, you'll see us, you know, uh, I've seen us at uh, where it was like different tribes were coming in. And there'll be certain tribes that are very sacred, like you weren't supposed to see that. Because this is just like, from my understanding, you know, even though we're family, we all have different things that we're doing and we stay in our own. But, you know, if it comes down to it, we band it together. But, you know, there'll be certain ones that stand on their own. And there'll be some that, you know, the secret society, they pushing in, and, you know, and they're supposed to see that. So I said, I'm not going to name which one it is, but, you know, they, they there, you know, and they're putting that in and they're letting you know you don't leveled up. Because you'll start being in front of that ritual and you, all of a sudden the, the flames get blue and you start seeing different things and they putting that different war paint on you and they're showing you they're proud of you. There's different things you're starting to open up doors for yourself but it leads to open up others, you know, and they're letting you know that because they're telling you don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself at all. When you're moving in your truth, it's not easy to do that. Because there's a lot of people that want to be seen a certain way. A lot of people want you to believe a certain way. You know, but when you're allowing yourself to move forward in your truth, you're not caring about what people say about you, at, you know, in your, uh, behind your back. You know, you're not worried about what people are thinking. You know, I have people 24-7 listening to everything I say. And it's just like, hey, you know, hopefully they'll find something that's really trying to wake them up and they'll listen to it and go move accordingly too. But you ain't force nobody to do that. You can lead a horse to, you know, lead a horse to a river, but it can't, you can't make them drink. You know, you'll see a lot of different things. It's like when you start doing that clearing, you'll see a lot of things that's coming towards that person. You, there are certain things you're like, hey, well, you know, I try to take heed on what they're doing and they want to listen. If they, shoot, if they listen to God and all them other people, you know, that passed over is, is trying to warn them. I'll be damned. I ain't about to say nothing. I'm just staying out the way, you know, and that's all you can do is just pray, you know, but you are showing so many people you have strength and, you know, and there'll be different times that people coming at you from all directions and make it want to seem like you're the problem. 
Yeah, you're a problem when you focus on growth. You are a problem when you focus on truth. When you are, you're a problem when you're not holding grudges against the people that really truly deserve that, but you distancing yourself from that. It's just like, okay, they're in their own war. They ain't even my fight. You know, they bring in something to trigger me. That's not my fight. You know, it'll be different things. It's just I learned how to not tell people what, you know, my pet peeves are. <laughs> you know, what I don't like, what I do like. Because it's like when people feel like you and your truth. And, you know, they want to be able to piss you off for that day. You know, because they that's how they empower themselves. I don't understand how. Because I be trying to, you know, it's like when people act like that, I be really trying to, you know, look from their end. Like, why do they always trying to piss me off? Because they know what I'm capable of doing. Why are they trying to do that? And it's just like they they hate the fact that you stand strong. Because they can't do that. They can, but they don't. You know, it, it's just a lot of time. That's how people are. I'm just me. I like how I empower people by encouraging them. Not belittling them. Not trying to make them feel like they're nothing. They're obsolete. I don't, I don't allow myself to do that. You know. I'm a type of person like, hey, you can be up there too, but it's just a lot of that stuff you're going to have to let go of. If you're trying to move, you got to move through truth. And a lot of people don't like that because that's too hard. I'm like, what the hell is it hard for? You know what happened. You know what you did. You know what you didn't do. But some people, you know, they, they used to lie. They would lie about today, Monday, and it's Friday. You know, it's like, damn, here they go. You know, and it'll be just like that. You got to pray, pray for them. Because there's a lot of different transitions right now where you have to be, let me not be in that equation. You don't want to be in that equation because there's a lot of things that's going on where people are dealing with their own demons and the shit is getting hard because you already know if you've been dealing with it and you've been having to face a lot of things it's just truly uncomfortable you know you had family you know that passed on and they're telling you just let it go let it go you are so much deserving on what's coming towards you whatever you're leaving behind you know what's coming towards you is so much better than what you're leaving behind you know you deserve these different things and people are trying to make it make it seem like you don't you're not worthy of that you probably heard it that, you know, through your whole life, what you ain't worthy for. People just messing with you, just be messing with you. Like, you may have had your time where you don't, you know, you threw a rock and they threw it back. But a lot of times, shoot, everybody want to bring that whole gravel pit with you. <laughs> just because there was something special about you that they couldn't stand to get up under their skin. When you move in positive, it, it's going to irritate a lot of people's demons. You know, you don't want your war. You be like, uh-uh, I'll be pulling the white flag. No, 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 you keep that over there. <laughs> uh-uh, ain't got to deal with that. I already dealt with my own. I ain't dealing with yours, too. That's something you have to do, you know, because there'll be different times that you feel like you have to save everybody. You're not supposed to do that. Your seed of growth is being able to tell somebody what I went through, what, you know, the things. I had to see myself in so many ugly predictions that really hurt me to the core. There was a lot of things I had to be able to accept that, you know, I, I just try to make myself, oh, it's because of me. No, it's not, you know. Uh, we're unlearning things that, you know, our family done passed down to us. We have to understand they weren't perfect either. You know, dealing with my, my enemies, they're not perfect. Nobody is. We all got our issues. It's just a lot of us ain't, ain't comfortable enough to be, you know, prophetic. You know, being allow ourselves to know, you know, hey, I messed up. You know, and that's why a lot of people, when they watch my videos, you've been with me for a while. And people are like, I, I really respect you. Because I know when you have to come out with truth like that. And you able to put it on here and you ain't caring about judgment. Why? <laughs> Only God could judge me. I don't care about what people say about me. You know, there's a lot of different things. People be running out saying something about me because they can't they can't stand because they ain't in that frequency of me. I don't let nobody in. I keep everybody at a distance. I say I've been through too much and I'm seeing with me bringing people in and being so open, they will come up and cut you. It ain't got nothing to do with you. And it could be people in our tribe. They're like that. Because it's like we are all walking mirrors. Because whatever you're doing and somebody's bringing that, you know, whatever that insecure or something that's negative out there showing you this is what you need to work on. Stand in your truth. You are a lot stronger than you allow yourself to give yourself credit for it. You know, and you'll see different things. A lot of times we, we second guess our, our strength. But you look, there's a lot of things that you went through, a lot of things you have faced. And you're trying to see some miracle. You got over that. You healed, you overcome in some kind of way. And they want you to see, recognize that. Because a lot of us are feeling certain things that we really, it has to be through God. It has to be through our angels. It has to be through our guides, you know, our uh, ancient ones, the tribal ancient ones, the tribal fam. You know, all that. 
you know, they hide behind us quick. Because we may be seeing you got, you only one person. I always tell people, look at this, you know what I mean? You might, it may make you a little cocky. But a lot of times you got to do that psychological trip on yourself to make you recognize who you truly are. If you're only one person, you got about 50, 11 people want to try to convince you of what you're not and what you can do. Oh, they see your power. They're just making sure they don't want you to see it. Because they, that's what they fear most, that you somebody going to hear you, the right people are going to hear you. You know, because people, uh, there's a couple of people I know from a while back, and they were trying to do their videos. They said, you know, I want to open up my own YouTube channel, you know, but um, I don't know how people get me, you know. I don't want, you know, my family coming back and saying something and, you know, really pissing them off. And the first thing I said, because I'm not going to be encouraging. I'm not going to be discouraging anybody. I'll be encouraging. And I said, okay, when you're coming up on here, everybody got a story. You know, you don't know what kind of blessings you're going to project in it. Making somebody embody by you speaking your truth. Because there's somebody, there's a lot of somebody's maybe going through the stuff that you're going through. And you are giving them that strength to say, if they can do it, I can do it too. It ain't going to be easy. Then I'll tell somebody, are you are you speaking the truth? This really happened to you? And they say, yeah. Then don't worry about that. Anybody who coming at you and they're saying this, uh, it could be family or somebody who know close to your family and want to come at you like that, they don't want that truth to come out because they worried about what other people think. That's your truth. You know what happened to you. You know what didn't happen to you. You stand strong in that. I don't care. You know, I'll tell people, they're like, oh, you didn't do that. You don't know. I'm like, you don't know. You know, your expression or your expression of my experience or your opinion of my experience ain't going to change what happened to me. Everything that I speak on within my life, oh, I got receipts. And a lot of them hate the fact that that's what keeps them shaking in the boots because I got too many receipts. They want to shut me up. I'm a liability. I'm a loose. I'm a, I'm a, what is it? Uh, what do they call that? Uh, you, you a liability. You, 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 you dangerous. You know, you that loop. If they don't got a knot on, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure out what was that one. You are, uh, you, you collateral damage. You know, when you're a liability towards a lot of different things that they know, if you start noticing, you know, uh, what's his name, Jerry Epstein, you know, all of a sudden, oh, you know, he tragically took his life today. No, that motherfucker knew too much. You know, what is it? Marilyn Monroe. Oh, she did. She knew too much, you know. Just were like, Ross, do you think I, you know, I'll be hearing them sometimes. What do you think about my, my death? Oh, it was That was purpose. Pur purposely. I know you didn't do that. And she started laughing. I already know. You knew too much. With the higher, higher elites, too. Oh, no. They're going to keep you up. They're going to silence you permanently. You know, and you're going to do that. When you speak truth, there's a lot of people you're going to rub the wrong way because they don't want that truth to come out. They don't want to be seen a certain kind of way. And they don't want to get in, they don't want to be handled. In that kind of way that you know you won't have repercussions to go back on. That's why I tell people, you can tell me what I didn't do, I'm lying or whatever. I like, baby, you ain't lying when you can, you you ain't lying and you ain't bragging about it when you can bring the receipts right there. Go and tell people, oh, you're not doing this. I just show a picture. I'm gonna let that message sit there and I'm gonna let you just go ahead and embody that, and then we we'll come back and we we'll talk about that, you know, and be that way. I'm not gonna stop my truth. I'm not gonna bite my tongue, you know. Anything. My mom always told me never repeat something once. You can't repeat twice, you know. Make sure you tell the truth because if somebody come back, you don't have to remember. You know, you don't have to remember. Because a lot of things is lying and true, you know. Because there's just too many things, especially about my situation. Oh, there's too many people up in there. Got a hand in a cookie jar <laughs> and somebody else's cookie jar. But I'm like, go ahead. You're going to have proof that you put your ass butter in there and you can go ahead and do what it do, what it do. But it's just, you stand bold in your truth. I'll tell anybody, if you know you're doing this to help you heal, you know. You're being an advocate or ambassador of some kind of, you know, drastic situation you've been in, some kind of trauma you've been in, and universe is giving you that courage. This is how you're going to heal by telling people your experience. This is why you, how you heal by showing what you had to really face and see and have that understanding and what routes you went to go about healing in that way. You don't realize, because this is just like with me. This is like my, you know, my, my uh, diary of transition, you know. It's not easy to talk about the things that I went through. You know, be different times where they're like, Rosalyn, I need you to tell that story. I'm like, what? Well, <laughs> you already know that mess is sensitive. On. You need to tell that story. You know, it's your truth. This is what you went through. And you're you going to have people that are really you know sitting on the fence with what should they do 
but you have to understand at times that um you know whatever you're facing whatever you're trying to get over the hill for over the mountain for it's not going to always be easy to uh be able to embrace at times because you know you may have went through something that's very triggering for you it may be very hard you know and those things or even being able to accept you know a lot of times it's like you know, when we go through things, it's hard for us to be able to let go of something because it's like if we feel like we've forgiven somebody, it's like you condoning what somebody's done to you. No, this is giving you peace. You know, it, it'll be different things where I have to look. And I mean, I have so many reasons to be angry because I was violated in so many different ways. I had things stolen from me, you know, so I felt like I was cheated out in life to where it's going to make me go postal on a couple of people. And boldly tell them, y'all, I'm, <laughs> I'm about to come over there and scar face the hell out of you. But it was just like, no, take that back. You don't want to be like them. You know, and Universe will show you. You see how they're acting. You see how they're projecting on you. You being angry like that makes you their doppelganger. You you don't need to be embodying that pain that they will not allow themselves to be releasing. And they're doing it in the worst way by projecting that on you. And it'll be something that had nothing to do with you. You know, you became that problem because you... Are experiencing something they never experienced before and they don't like that so they want to be able to rob you of that and I had to be able to be okay about that you know and being able to do that I had to be able to accept these things that I really had to accept you don't allow yourself to be moving current you know keep on continuing to move through pain you know anger revenge you know revenge being vengeful you know having a vendetta you know There'll be different times where God will tell you, I want you to do this, and then he won't say, stop. Now this is my battle. You did what you needed to do. Let me handle the rest. Because, you know, it's it just like me. <laughs> I was ready to wreck shop anyway. But it'll be just like, mm-mm. I can do far more damage than you ever could. And you can be in that safe place. Let me, let me do the rest of this. And I had to be able to let it go. Be able to let go. And that was hard for me to really do. And so I came to that point. Well, I know there's a lot of different things that be going on, on behind the scenes where people want to do things to me. You want to put harm. Hell, I had bounties over my head all the time, and I'm still here. You know, when you protect it like that, a lot of people be sitting in confusion, stuck and confused. I put so much stuff on that person. Why are they still here? Why are they still happy? Why are they still projecting love? Because that person's protected. Everything you placed on them, don't, fit, don't, don't be surprised when everything you don't put on somebody, you're going to start living through. You know, you may make sure that person living in poverty and all that stuff. Next thing you know, your money being snatched, you losing jobs, you know, you having issues, you know, you want to make sure that person will never find love. And next thing you know, everybody starts seeing all your little flaws, all your little hiccups of lies, your drama. They start seeing that, living it, making that person live through, you know, suffering. And next thing you know, you already suffering. It adds on more, you know, more suffering. You know, you have to do that because this is just like you have to be able to send blessings towards the people that sent to destroy you. you. You don't become them. That's what your blessing is. When you can overlook that, you can see what they're doing. But you're allowed, I'm a, let me send, you know, healing towards you. Because I see that real dark cloud that's over your head. And I'm not trying to be funny. You know, there's a lot of painful things that people are juggling right now. And don't realize they're their own. They're only stabbing themselves. They're only hurting themselves. They're only putting death on themselves. When you wish so much for somebody because that's, that's you know, comparison, that's jealousy, that's envy. You know, a lot of things is going around where we are walking in seven, seven deadly sins, you know. But you have to really, you want to have peace, happiness, compassion, love, light, abundance, prosperity. You Even for the people that you don't like, they're going out their way to try to make you end yourself or they're trying to end you. You wish them the same thing, you know. And that, that's where your blessings is, where you, you know... Where, how you handle people that keep on constantly going out their way to mishandle you. That's where your blessings come in. You ain't got to sit up here and be tit for tat with that. Because that making you them. You allow yourself to rise above. And that's what you need to do. This is how we're going to be healing. Because we got too much of this madness in the world. Where we feel like somebody's life is more better than somebody else's life. Or you're more important because you got more money in the bank. Or, you know, you out there and, you know, in the limelight, you're an elite, you're a celebrity, and this and this and that. We all put our pants on the same way. You know, we all, you cut us, we all bleed the same. So, it just, you know, if you reptilian and all that other jungle, y'all ain't got nothing to do with that. But, you know, this is where, you know, unity needs to come in. You know, because it's too much of us that, and we creating wars that there wasn't even no battle in the first place. People create that mess, you know. 
and all those different things. So it's just like when you allow yourself, you know, your truth, wear that mess well. You got Scotch Guard, you got Teflon, nothing can pierce that. You know, anything that's trying to come into that, if it's meant to be met in that way, you know, because people are like, how, you know, how you do that and that person lost their life? You, I can't question God. God. There's a lot of times where there'll be different situations that'll go on you. And and you trying to understand. And a lot of times certain, certain things be like that. And they try to show you where God is. You try to see where the, you know, angels are. You be seeing certain things. And, you know, you, you know, I be watching a lot of these crime situations. You know, where I see it. And I mean, I'm just like, I'm floored. Like, did this really happen? You know, I even see something very traumatic. And be like, damn, did that really happen? You be stuck. Like, oh my God. You trying to understand. You know. Yeah, I, was, I think on my other video I was saying that where the girl was watering the flowers in the back of her house I think it was in Kansas City and the mom was in the house you know um, and it was the I think it was her son or daughter I can't remember but it was a baby that was getting ready to turn a year old and you can see to me in my opinion I don't you know I don't know but it's just from what I'm looking at and you know me being in the streets and you know raising the hood and stuff like that it was like the way it happened you can see that was initiation in some kind of way and people trying to prove themselves by doing some real stupid stuff you know, and I said for you, you know, you got to really have madness in the world where another child, 16 years old, you should be in there playing video games, you know, riding bikes with your friends, climbing trees, doing something like that, you know, practicing dance, but I don't know, you know, I was born in the 70s, I don't know, where people are anting up and you're ready to take somebody's life, you know, for stupid stuff, take somebody's life, and you point a gun, you a 16 year old child, and you, this child is whole, her little, her little brother or sibling or whatever, you know, she was 12, and she, I mean, she had a death grip on that baby, you know, no pun intended, but she did. And you seeing him hitting, the point at her, and them, you know, bullets is going straight away. And that lets you know that was all God right there, and end up, the mom got hit in the house. Now, she right there, and it hit the mom in the house, because I think it was like, it pierced her femur or something like that, and shattered it, and all that stuff. And she was just like, you know, I'm okay. You know, this is going to be something. But my babies are okay. That's all I'm going to worry about. Because, you know, us being a parent, we'll stand in that daggone shield. Let me get shot up. I don't want my kids being that way. You know, and there'll be different things that'll let you know all, that's God right there. You see the devil every day. You see all the stupid stuff, you know, the world coming to on how they do stuff. You know, you can't go to the movie theater. You can't go to school. You can't go to the grocery store. You know, you can't go to church. You know, it's always something about these mass killings and stuff like that. And it's just like a lot of times I have to be able to move myself away from the ignorance and the darkness of the world. Because I'm just, you know, it gets to that point where you, when you start doing a lot of clearing, you get really sensitive. And I'm sitting here and I'm watching stuff and I'm just crying. Like, why do we have to be this way with each other? Why can't we live in unity? We ain't got to be at war with every daggone thing. Or why don't I was like, God, this would be so much easier if you give us our own planet and leave these idiots by themselves. Let them go ahead and do whatever they want to by themselves. And the people that really want peace, let them be there. It will be so simple. Kind of, know, we got to be like, all right. You know, and I mean, it's like, this is just too much. You know, and you're doing that. So it's just like the more you'll notice, like the more things you do, the more things when you're allowing yourself to step and change and change is not easy to do, you know, because you'll start noticing when you start being on your own and you want to be able to be even if you got to stand alone, because a lot of times you do right. It's going to be a long, lonely journey. A lot of times they'll feel that way, but you're never alone. But I'd rather be that person, I'd rather be lonely than have somebody in my life where I got to see what kind of motives and hidden intentions you got. Because everybody's smiling in your face, they ain't really your friend. They be looking at you like, let me see how I can get to bring that person down. And I had it. I deal with it all the time. I deal with it every day. But this is at that time where you, when you, you have to be able to see what's being projected towards you. When you make them smart choices, is this going to be an investment or is this going to be a major setback? Because like I said before, just because people are at war with themselves and they bring you to that, they ain't your battle. You already ended yours. Let them you wish prayers and upliftment towards that person to keep on your way. Don't allow yourself to be, you know, open and engaging like that. Because everything that's coming towards that person is going to attach to you. So play it smart. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all love to give a post notification. Uh, shout out to Divine Feminine and James Graham. Much love to you. You know, I'll leave my... Um, my contact information in the description box below and um what else so leave my uh, con con uh content information in the description box below
and as well as you know networking is all about spiritual networking to be able to understand the purpose of different things that's going on you know just to be able to uplift you and give you a deeper understanding your purpose that is taking place as well as you know just be able to see where it's going from there so uh, if you ever like to leave my podcast and be able to uh, hear that, it's also in the community uh, community section of the description box below. And whatever you're trying to move up to, uh, you know it's going. I'm going to go ahead because everybody's talking. So much love. Peace.